Let's face it, trainers are fun, but for a very short period of time. As one of my fellow instructors once said, students get excited three times, the first takeoff, the first landing, and the first solo flight. After that, they start nitpicking. I want a faster plane. This one turns too slow. This doesn't fly cross country, and so on. But what if there was a bird that both students and seasoned pilots would love? A plane that feels incredibly stable, but can be agile if you want it to be. A bird that has an excellent climb, can go faster than most school planes, and most importantly, burns less than half of what other trainers would burn per hour. Well, I might have found that bird. Welcome to Big Metal Birds, and in this video, we review one of the best trainers around, Diamond DA-20 Katana. If you've been following around for a while, you probably know that I love diamonds. In our video about the DA-42, we took a very detailed look at how it all began, so I'll try to keep it shorter this time and leave a link to that video in the description below. Give it a watch later. That said, there are some key factors you should know to understand what makes the DA-20 stand out from other light trainers. So, let's dive in. In 1980, Austrian aircraft designer Wolf Hoffmann founded Hoffmann Flugzeug Bau, and their first successful model was a glider. In mountainous countries like Austria, gliders are extremely popular because the landscape naturally generates strong ridge lift and thermals, allowing gliders to soar even above the mountains. Their first glider, the H-36 Daimona, was an instant success. It was all composite, had excellent flight characteristics, and offered something other gliders lacked, a motor. So even if the thermal winds couldn't carry you over the mountains, you could always ignite the engine and climb above them yourself. The Daimona's success was a game-changer, and on their way to conquering the United States, Hoffmann Flugzeugbau was acquired by Christian Dries. Not only did he rename the company to Diamond Aircraft, but he also proposed their first light airplane, the Diamond DV-20. Yep, it's not a misspell. The first plane was the DV-20, not DA-20, which was essentially an H-36 with shortened wings, and flaps, and a tricycle gear. So, what's the end result? A fast, stable, and light airplane that not only has great fuel efficiency, but also one of the best glide ratios in its class. The DV-20 Katana, much like its predecessor, gained popularity as soon as it took to the skies in 1993. Not only in Europe, but also in Canada, thanks to Diamond opening a new facility in London, Ontario. And just a year later, from the hangar of that new facility, rolled out the airplane we all know and love today, the Diamond DA-20 Katana. So, let's take a closer look. All diamonds share a similar design language, and it's safe to say that the DA-20 started this trend. It's an all-composite two-seater with a low wing and the T-tail that diamonds are known for. From nose to tail, it measures 23.6 feet, with a wingspan of 35 feet and weighs in at 1,164 pounds empty. Such a large wing for a light aircraft like the Katana means it generates plenty of lift. And while that brings many benefits, it's also to note that this plane needs a long, clean runway for safe landings, preferably without crosswinds during approach. Now, for the benefits, this bird really loves to fly. It's hard to stall, hard to spin, and it goes pretty fast, too. No wonder it became one of the most popular trainers in flight schools. We'll compare its specs to other trainers in a bit, but I just want to point out that this plane will likely stay with you even after you get your license. And here's why. Katana comes in three variants, 80 horsepower Rotax 912, 100 horsepower Rotax 912 IS, and 125 horsepower Continental IO 240. The older and slower Rotax isn't available anymore, and the Continental variant is just 10 knots faster than the 912 IS. So let's check out what this bird is capable of with that engine. So the max speed is 120 knots, while your economical cruise will be closer to 100 which is not that fast, but it's still faster than the Cessna 150, Piper Tomahawk, Beach Skipper, and probably any other school plane. I guess that fact didn't surprise you, cause let's be honest, those are much older birds, made from metal and have big heavy engines. But here comes another feature of the Rotax, it runs on Mogas, and when you need to power such a light bird, 
a rate of three gallons of MoGas per hour is much cheaper than six or seven gallons of Avgas on Cessna or Piper. I know, I might sound like I'm sugarcoating the DA-20, but bear with me. I will get to the point where the older birds have a clear-cut edge, but before that, let's talk about range. On an economical cruise, the Katana is capable of 700 nautical miles of steady cruise. But bear in mind that pilots who go cross-country often find the seats a bit too stiff for longer flights. So what do we get if we set it side by side with other popular trainers? Before we proceed, I just want to mention that the numbers below are average and aircraft performance will differ based on the flight conditions. Cessna 150, your most basic trainer, maxes out at 110 knots, climbs 650 feet per minute, and has a range of 400 nautical miles. Doesn't sound too bad to me, but the Piper Tomahawk will feel a bit more agile, will be a bit faster, and can fly for 540 nautical miles. Beach Skipper will be a bit slower than the two previous planes, but students loved how it flies, so I included it in this list. And then DA-20, 120 knots max speed, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and 700 nautical miles range. So then, why every flight school in the world doesn't have the DA-20? And here is where older birds surpass the speedy youngster. On average, any of the older planes I named can be bought for around 40 to 50 grand. In good condition, recently overhauled, and likely equipped with decent avionics. But Katana will set you back to at least 175 grand for an older model. New ones go well above 200,000 US dollars. Yeah, here's the answer to why most of the flight schools are not rushing to order new planes. But such a price isn't just due to the more than 20 year age difference. It's also because of the extensive safety testing and research. You probably already know this, but for many years, Diamond proudly holds the safety record in general aviation. So when you see a price tag of $200,000, it's not just for the latest bells and whistles, but also for all the research and technology that will help you in case of a rough landing. But to be precise, the latest bells and whistles add to that number too. For example, Garmin G500 TXI glass cockpit sheepskin seat cushions, LED position lights, USB ports, and all the other goodies. Do you need them or not? I guess every pilot will have a different answer. With dozens of flight schools across Europe already using katanas to train new pilots, the DA-20 is proving to be a safe, reliable, and cost-effective way to get into the skies. But what do you think of this plane? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Always glad to hear your stories. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from above the clouds. Fly safe and until next time.